The Commission on Higher Education, created under Republic Act 7722 or the Higher Education Act of 1994, is mandated to promote and ensure access to quality tertiary education, as well as to guarantee and protect academic freedom of public and private higher education institutions for continuing intellectual growth among Filipinos. Under the Magna Carta of Women Act of 2009 or Republic Act 9710, the CHED has spearheaded a massive campaign through its Gender and Development Focal Committee and Secretariat to mainstream GAD programs in the country's higher education sector. CHED has issued several landmark policy statements and documents, the most prominent of which is CHED Memorandum Order No. 1, Series of 2015 establishing the policies and guidelines on gender and development in CHED and in higher education institutions, numbering more than 2,000 all over the country. The HESG enables the Commission to keep track of progress of HEIs in developing GAD programs in their institutions and to be a venue for exchanging best GAD practices. The first summit was a call to unity where the Higher Education Gender and Development Accord was drafted and signed by 85 state universities and college presidents and more than 300 heads of private HEIs. The second focused on the Magna Carta of Women, specifically addressing gender-based violence and sexual harassment in campus and mainstreaming GAD in the curriculum. The third summit was a nationwide consultation with administrators, staff, and other higher education stakeholders on the landmark GAD regulation of CHED CMO No. 1 series of 2015. The fourth summit tackled the state of gender studies in the Southeast Asian region against the backdrop of economic integration of member states. In the ASEAN Conference on Gender Mainstreaming in Higher Education, all 10 member states were fully represented and they crafted a historic ASEAN GAD unity statement and GAD action plan. The fifth summit happened side by side with the ASEAN conference where members of Philippine HEIs were able to interact with members of the academe from the nine ASEAN member states. The technical panel for gender and women's studies was constituted as provided in CMO1 series 2015. It has been formulating the minimum standards for a gender studies program as well as the guidelines for the selection of CHED GAD zonal resource centers. The Commission is poised to further improve the development of necessary GAD programs on social protection through access and equity to tertiary education and support more capacity building measures of its human resources to promote gender consciousness in the higher education sector.